All right, let's do a quick unboxing on this Quincy 60 gallon, three and a half horsepower, single stage air compressor. I got this from uh, Air Compressors Direct. Uh, shipped direct from the manufacturer, but it did ship pretty quick and everything, so pretty pleased about that. Um, it is 230 pounds, so it's a heavy beast. So let's uh, pull the box off and see what's under. It's just kind of got this giant box. I'm going to sit down for just a minute, just pull this over box off. All right, got the box off, so she's wrapped up in some nice plastic here. Let's see if we can get this undone. And I got some uh, desking in there. I'll be sure to eat that later. You know when they say not to eat it, that you'll, you'll want to eat it. All right. There she is. All of its glory. There's uh, three feet on this, unlike what the description said. I don't care. Got a on off switch here. 300 PSI gauge. A little bit of corrosion or something. I think it's just grease sealant going on there. I will use that quarter inch tap, I believe. sight gauge she does have oil in it nice little touch there we got a little drain pipe that comes off so you're not getting oil everywhere that's a nice touch Let's see if I can get around this my garage is a mess we also got our half inch connector I'll be oh, and it's full of air <laughs> uh, blew right in my face anyway we got a proposition 65 warning for all the communists in California that think everything causes cancer. I uh, have a uh, confession to make. The sun causes cancer. Ban it. Anyway, looks like we got a century motor here. Made in Tip City, Ohio. Good old US of A. Got a nice plastic cover with a big fan on it. Nice welded seam here. That's that's actually pretty. Whoever welded that, dude, they, they need a raise, man. This welding is beautiful. Here's the plate on it. Good old Alabama. Anyway, I will be using this one. I'm gonna convert it to 3/8. I'm gonna use both taps uh, just for the heck of it. See if the blow-off valve works. It works. Let's see. Hard to read that, but looks like it's a certified tank, so that's cool. Did not know that. So I'm gonna get back around here. All kinds of maintenance instructions. A little uh, quick guide. User's manual. That's a nice setup. I'm gonna have to get this unbolted and off the thing. And you can see the giant cooling fan in there. Not sure what that is yet, but assuming that's the air intake and muffler. This must be the oil fill. Plastic, so not Super pleased with that, but I'm sure it'll do its job just fine. But yeah, uh, looks like electrical connection goes in here. One phase power. I've got a uh, extension cable I'm going to use to my 30 amp service. But yeah, looks uh, looks pretty solid. People are saying something. Now there's the plastic tube. People were talking about that possibly was breaking and causing trouble but they said as long as you don't overheat it uh, should be fine uh, basically five minutes on five minutes off is its cycle but 
I don't know. If that breaks, it looks pretty easy to replace with uh, something better anyway. But yeah, pretty pleased with it. I'm gonna see if I can get it off this pallet and get her moved. But yeah. Anyway, this is the Quincy Q13160VQ compressor.